where I live is a, an ecosystem at risk, and it's a culture at risk. Um, I'm Native American, but I'm Cajun. And so I have French heritage and I have Native American heritage. Uh, it's like in the movie Stripes. I feel like I've been kicked out of every decent country on the face of the earth, but I'm an American, okay? For me to remain sustainable, for my community to remain sustainable, we have to at least, at the very minimum, maintain the land, the physical land. We're sinking at an inch of a year. Seawater is rising. Sea level is rising at a centimeter a year. We have 80 miles of coastal area that's a foot and a half above sea level. So if Hurricane Katrina or George or Bob comes through, you have 70 miles of water that's coming at you. Oil companies dredge tens of thousands of miles of canals through the coast. And that took what was you know, probably a thousand year problem you know, and turned it more into a 20-year problem. The oil and gas canals that just sliced and diced the marsh speed the erosion, uh, and that's something that we've been very focused on because it does, you know, get at people's ability to have sustainable communities. As we lose that, that apron of marsh and cypress swamp, uh, we are just a lot more vulnerable. We've been pretty outspoken in, in calling for you know, uh, the administration to look at the oil industry uh, and kind of the, the you break it, you buy it um, motto and the way of thinking about things. It seems like the oil industry is certainly culpable uh, and should be brought to bear uh, as far as the resources to help help fix the problem. Um, but, you know, it's going to take some political leadership. It's going to take some tough decisions because there will be winners and losers in the kind of short run. In the long run, if we don't do it, we're all going to be losers. We're a community that is surrounded by five bayous. We have our American Indians. We have our black community. We have our shrimping industry. And then we have our inner city. And we have our, our sports and our schools. We are a multicultural community. And you can go down one bayou and it's a different culture and they see things a different way. You come up and you go down another bayou and they're looking at it from a total different standpoint. But when we meet all together, it's about our people, our children, our heritage, our race. And we may not all see eye to eye because prejudices will never leave until you understand someone else. And that's what we're doing. We're about educating the people that we can all live together and we can all support one another and that's what makes the world a better place.